Now, what's the next thing to do? Do I discard anything to carry on? I don't think I do. I will get rid of... The, no, there's no point in getting rid of the dagger. I can keep that for now. Um, okay, next turn. Blessing of the gods. Again. Uh, explore. A pit trap. Shit. If defeated, you may immediately explore again. If undefeated, each character at this location is dealt 1d4 combat damage. And then, of course, it will get shuffled back in. Shit. Okay, so Wisdom 7 I've got to go for here. Because um, that'll be the easiest one to get. I've got a d12. I'm actually going to get rid of... I'm going to discard my Blessing of the Gods to add a die um, to that. So I get to roll 2d12s instead. Because I'd rather not take... 1d4 combat damage. Um, plus, I, you know, it's a waste of time if you don't defeat it. So, here we go. Let's try and get 7. Should be doable. Oh my god, 5. Alright. Well, I've had good luck so far, so here we go. 1d4 combat damage. Be a 1, be a 1, be a 1, be a 1. 3. Ugh. Okay, well that goes first, that's going to go, and then it's got to be the mace, hasn't it? There you go, three combat damage, ow, 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 that sucked, but never mind. Uh, this is undefeated, so what happens is it gets put back in there and shuffled in. Balls to that. Okay, I reset my hand, hoping that cure comes up soon. <laughs> ah, magic half plate, nice. Another blessing. And a short bow, ugh. Okay, not not amazing. Um, I think I'm definitely going to... Yeah, if I take four damage next turn, I'm dead. So I need to make sure I don't. Uh, therefore, I will... Um, instead of my first exploration, I will do my self-healing. What's it? So a d4 plus one random things. Ah, two. Okay, shuffle that. Get two back in there. Shuffle them in. Whack that back. And that's my go done base. Oh no, I can explore. Go on, I'll explore. Will I? I've got five cards in there now. Oh shit, hang on. I didn't reveal a card in order to do that. So there's my... Oh. No. There you go. That's my divine card I'm revealing in order to do that. I wonder if I've missed that before. I keep forgetting to reveal a card with the divine trait to do that. But there you go. I've done that anyway. Um, I shouldn't die this turn now because I've got five cards in there that I'll be able to hand myself. So, let's go. Blessing of the gods. Shit. <laughs> okay, I get hit for one, uh, two. Let's... No. I'll get rid of the blessing. One, two. Mental damage because of that thing. Bugger. Okay, but at least I get the blessing. So that's not the end of the world. Uh, and that's that. That's my turn over. So, one... Two. Ah, oh, cure. Beautiful. So, next turn. Blessing of Gorum. Don't care. I'm using cure before I do anything else. So, 1d4 plus 1. Oh, brilliant. That was a nice little fall at the last second. So, that's 4 plus 1 again. Cure's doing me well. So, five random cards from here get shuffled back in. Two, three, four, five. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And then we'll do a Divine 8 check to recharge that. Yes! 6 plus 2 is 8. Phew. So that's recharged. Good. Now I'm feeling a bit stronger now. I might even, though, just do that again. No, I won't. No, I won't. I'll, I'll play properly. So I'll explore. Oh, it's the sodding pit trap. Okay, well, I'm going to do this again because I'm desperate not to get hit for four again um, so wisdom seven I'm going to discard the blessing of the gods what's this this time a combat strength check nope so I'm going to discard that to get two d12s to try and get seven let's do it this time sodding trap good eight it's only just though so that's defeated isn't it if defeated, you may immediately explore again. Don't think I will, because I know that there's a villain or a henchman in there. I want to be able to defeat them. Um, and I've only got a weapon. I don't have any blessings that I could use. I've got the half plate, though, so I wouldn't die. Um, 
Could be worth it. Although Noali, uh, not Noali, what's her name? Irelium is quite difficult to defeat. I remember you've got to defeat her twice, haven't you? No, you haven't. You've either got to... No, you don't have to defeat her twice. You just have to defeat her once. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go for it. I'll immediately explore again. This is risky. How many cards have I got there? Nine. That's fine. Go. Oh, it's Irelium. It's Irelium. So a combat 14 in order to beat her. I don't know if I'll manage that, you know. Oh, shit, and I've got to encounter an, a s Wrathful Sin spawn first. Oh, this is dreadful. Okay. Come on. Come on. Where's the Wrathful Sin spawn? I don't want to have to fight... I don't want to have to look through everything. I, now I've started looking this way, I want to find one. There it is. God, 13 cards later. There it is. Right, okay, so this thing pops up and goes... Bleh. And before the encounter succeeded at a Wisdom 6 check, or the difficulty of your checks is increased by one for the rest of the turn. That could be shit. Go. Nothing I can do. Ah, oh, not three. Okay, so everything is increased by one, so I've got to defeat him by getting a ten. Yeah. <sighs> okay, Flaming Mace. Strength or melee die. He's not undead, which is a shame. Uh, plus a d8, so it's this plus five. I've got nothing else I can do. I mean, I could... No. Nope. I could... Could, 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 could discard it to get another d4, but I've got to defeat Aurelium as well, so no. So this plus five, got to get ten. Let's do it. Shouldn't be a tall order, this. Eight plus five is thirteen. Fantastic, you are dead. But you've made it harder. I'll leave him out, just in case I need him again. Um, that's made this harder though because I'm going to have to get an extra one on each check. So before the encounter, choose a... Yeah, I've done that. If undefeated, succeed at a Wisdom or Divine 8 check or move to a random other location. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, a trespasser. Impress me with your groveling and maybe I'll le let you leave with one of your eyes. That's quite scary, actually. Alright. So, Irelium, outsider sorcerer. Combat 14. All I've got is this. Well, that's what I'm going to have to do. But it's combat 15 now, isn't it? Because of the sodding sin spawn. Uh, so I get to roll this again, add 5 to it, and that's my that's my lot. And I've got to get 15. Can do it. Just be difficult. Go. Ooh. 10, add 5 to it. 15. Fuck yeah. You are dead. She's not undefeated. Well, she's not dead, but I defeated her in combat. So that means this place immediately, automatically closes. I don't have to try and do the Divine Six check or Banish a Blessing, because that could have sucked. So that immediately closes. Hang on, what happens here when you close? No effect. Good. Just need to make sure I didn't miss anything. So here, on closing, you may Banish a Blessing to draw a random blessing from the box. Okay. So this closes... Draw, banish a blessing to draw a random blessing from the box. Well, I don't have any to banish, so I can't do that. This card goes away. It was an enchanter. Oh my god, what am I doing? You go there. Not there. There. Well done. And then she goes to the only open location and gets shuffled in. Ooh, that was good. I reset my hand. Find traps and blessing of the gods. Nice. I'm really pleased with myself there. Okay, new go. And I'm nearly halfway through in terms of time, so I've got shitloads of time to get through these 11 cards. Or potentially one card if she was shuffled to the top again. Uh, so this is a non combat dexterity check specialism. Okay, I'm going to move that. Then, before I do anything else, I think I'm going to just heal myself before anything happens. So I will... Rev no, I won't. No, I won't. No, I won't. Ah, oh, yeah, I will. I will. I will. Um, so I'm going to reveal find traps in order to shuffle one d4 random items or random cards. So one d4 plus one is three plus one is four random cards from here into my deck. So that'll save me for later. One, two, three, four. Uh, shuffle them in. Turn that back over. Hello, acolyte. And then this gets discarded. Great. Okay, that was that. So that was instead of exploring, now I draw up and... Ugh. And then, yeah, you go. 
Right, this is how I'm going to explore. So, what happens here? You may attempt a wisdom or perception, but wisdom 7 check to evade a monster. And to close, I need to summon and defeat a Rathos and spawn henchmen. Now, that won't be a problem because defeating Aurelium automatically closes the location and she's got nowhere to run to, so I will have killed her. So that's really good. Uh, right, what have we got? An ambush. Shit! Okay, check to defeat. Wisdom, perception, dexterity, or acrobatics, nine. Oh, plus one, because the difficulty to defeat is increased by one. So... Wisdom 10 I've got to get here. I'm going to be using my Blessing of the Gods, I think. If undefeat, if, if defeated, I succeed at not being ambushed, I guess. Um, but if undefeated, examine the location deck until you find a monster. Encounter it, subtracting one from each die rolled in your check. Then banish these cards and shuffle the remaining cards into the location deck. Yeah, I'd rather not do that. So I'm going to <laughs> discard Blessing of the Gods to add another D12 to this check. So that's Wisdom, which is a yeah D12. So two D12s. One, that's going to be my roll, and, oops, and two, that's my roll. Eight plus three is eleven. Phew, I needed ten. Uh, yeah, I've done it. Thank God for that. Defeated, I may immediately explore again. I probably will, even though I now don't have that blessing of the gods. That's fine, though. Go. <gasps> A ghost, but it's undead, that's good. Immune to the mental and poison traits, that's fine. If your check does not have the magic trait to defeat it, the ghost is undefeated. Well, that's interesting. So I wouldn't be able to use melee against it. Oh, yes. Yes, I would, because it's got magic trait in the top left. Good. But the other thing, for example, the light crossbow and my mace don't have the magic trait, so I wouldn't be able to use those. However, the ghost seems to have a get-out clause for that, because I could roll a divine eight check for it. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm going to use combat. So it's going to be the Flaming Mace, which is a d6, a plus a d8, a plus 5, and another d8 because the fucker is undead. So all this plus 5, and I've got to get 12. Mm, it's quite high, but I can do that. <gasps> he says, yeah, 19. I can do that. Bye, ghosty. I've never fought the ghost, actually. I've had something else that has a similar, similar, similar mechanic, but that's fine. Good. Um, I reset my hand. Ah, blessing. Lovely. I then go on to there. See the next one. Potion of Hiding. Banish this card and choose a character at your location to succeed at a stealth check. Well, that could be useful at some point. But uh, check to acquire is Intelligence 4. I'm not going to waste anything on this. Um, so I just roll a d6 and hope for the best. Doesn't matter if I don't get it. I've been pretty lucky so far today with rolls, actually. There you go. Four. I get the Potion of Hiding. Um, I'm going to... Ah. If you're proficient with heavy armors, you may recharge this card when you reset your hand. Well, I would do, but I really don't need the Light Crossbow, so that's going instead. Those are my five cards. I've reset my hand. <gasps> let's go for another go. Blessing of the Gods. Right, let's explore. I'm ripping through this. Tickwood Boar. It's Hogger, ladies and gentlemen. Before the encounter succeeded to Wisdom or Survival 7 check, or the difficulty to defeat him is increased by 2. Well, I could do that. Wisdom 7. Um, oh, well, Wisdom. Yeah, go on. Doesn't matter if it's increased by 2. I can still beat him. Wisdom 7. I got Wisdom 10. So, easy peasy. He's only going to be an 8 to defeat. So, Flaming Mace. Oh, shit. Hang on. After a character encounters a Wrathful Sinsborn henchman, roll a d6 on a 1, discard the top card of the Blessings deck. Well, I've found one of those, haven't I? So, I needed to roll a d6 and see if it was a 1. I've only just remembered that. Good. It's not a 1. I don't need to lose time. Great. I just remembered that. Isn't it funny how the brain works? So, um, I'm going to fight him. I need to get 8. I have a... Yeah, the same again. That, plus that, plus five. With my flaming mace, I should say. Yeah, it says reveal this card. I just assume you all know that's what I'm doing. Um, this plus five. <gasps> Six plus five is eleven. That's all right. He's dead. And no need to reset my hand. I'm finished. Next go. Uh, Twelve goes left. Seven cards in there. This should be all right. Blessing of the gods. Right. Let's see what I'm... 
up against a goblin war chanter. Before the encounter, succeed as a wisdom eight check, or you may not place spells with the attack trait or weapons. Oh, holy crap. Um, right, that's really not good. You know what I might do? I might just evade this monster. Attempt a wisdom or perception seven check to evade. Um... Shit. I want to be able to play a play a weapon against it. Otherwise it's just rolling a melee. Oh, a melee is a D6 plus four in fairness. So I could still beat it to get an eight. But yeah, okay, well I think I might just play this safe. Well, tell you what I'm gonna do first. Yeah, no, I'm gonna play the safe. I'm gonna use this in order to try and roll the wisdom eight check. Um, yeah. So I get an extra die. Wisdom 8, 9 plus 6. So I may not have done it. Right, good. So I get to play with my weapon. This should be easy now. Um, I'm going to use a d6 and a d8 and 5. Got to get 8 or more. <gasps> 7 plus 5 is 12. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I need to stop saying that. That's really weird. Okay. Oh, my fucking headphones keep on buzzing. It's really annoying. It's only when I'm looking directly at the screen. Oh. Is it the microphone? No, it's not. I don't know what it is, but it's really, really, really annoying. Oh, well, never mind. Let's get on with it. So I reset my hand because I defeated it. Ah, another blessing. Lovely. New go. Blessing of Desna. Two dice to a check to recharge a card. That's cool. Okay. Still got eight cards there, that's fine. Um, let's explore. <gasps> it's the henchman. Oh, and if I beat him, I could immediately attempt to close this location, thus just leaving Aurelium in there. Okay, before this, succeed at a wisdom six check or everything is increased by one. Okay, well, I'm not going to use a blessing on this. Wisdom six? Yeah, 11. So not everything is increased. When closing, summon and defeat a wrathful Sinspawn henchman. So I'll have to do another one in order to close it. That's a shame. Right, okay, so. Combat 9. Well, I'll do the same thing again. Use my flaming mace. So it's this plus 5, and that should kill it. Yes, 11 plus 5 is 16. Uh, and that kills it. Brilliant. So... I may immediately attempt to close this location. How do I do that? I summon and defeat a wrathful Sinsborn henchman. Okay, let's put in there. Oh, Lord God, there's another one. Uh, right, let's do it again. Before the encounter, succeed at a Wisdom 6 check, or it's all made more difficult. I won't bother with a blessing for this. Oh, my God, that was close. Okay, it's a 2. Never mind. I've got to defeat him with a 10. I'm going to use my Blessing of the Gods this time. Um... Just to, just to, just to, just to make sure I defeat him, because I'd love to get through all these cards. So I get an extra die, which is the d8. So it's all this plus five, and I've got to get ten. Yeah, I didn't need to worry, did I? So twenty-one. You are definitely dead. Okay, so the location is closed. Now I can't obviously close it properly, because now what I need to do is check for... Uh, any henchmen or villains? So none yet, none yet. Oh, still none yet. Ah, oh, there's a there's a villain. Right, so she stays there basically, um, but everything else gets to go, which is great because that means I don't need to fight a hellhound and whatever other horrible shit was in there. Sling. Nah, that's crap. Good. Um, so it's not closed, but it's as closed as you can get. So I don't get to do the permanently closed thing at the bottom. Um, but not that that matters anyway, towards the end of the game. Right then. So I've done that, I've closed this, and now I get to draw up. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is... Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, new go. Instead of exploring, I'm actually going to do a couple of things. I'm going to reveal... Oh, I don't have anything with the... I won't be able to do my healing. Never mind, I'm just going to have to fight her. I was going to say I'm going to reveal a Divine Trait card in order to heal and just get some blessings in there so I can fight her with blessings, but I don't think I'm going to be able to because I can't reveal anything with the Divine Trait. I should have 
thrown one of these things away. Never mind. Oh, and I should have recharged that. Ah, oh, fuck it. Whatever. Let's just go. See if I can kill her. Irelium. Before the encounter, choose a character at your location to summon and encounter a Wrathful Sinsborn henchman. Oh, and I've just remembered I've defeated two more. So I needed to do the roll to see if I get a one. I didn't that time. Here's the other one. Didn't there, didn't there either. That's good. So I don't have to take the discard of the death. Yeah, I don't have to discard things off the blessings deck. Great. Okay, here's the new one. Before the encounter succeeded, a wisdom check. Oh, how about that? Wisdom six, wisdom six, wisdom six. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. That means she's going to be one harder as well. Grr. Okay. One for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Twinkle, twinkle. I've just mashed two things together there, haven't I? Okay, so what are we doing? We're fighting. We're going to use our flaming mace, which is this, plus this, plus five. And I've got to get... I haven't got any blessings I can use, and I've got to get ten. Should be fine. Should be fine. That plus five is twelve. Lovely. He's dead. I roll another d6 in order to see if I get a one. Twinkle, twinkle, it's okay. No blessings discards for me today. Irelium. Okay, I've succeeded at defeating the Wrathful Sinspawn henchman. Good, so I now need to get... 15 in combat to defeat Irelium. If I do, I have beaten this scenario. Now, all I can do is use my Flaming Mace. That's all I can do. Crowbar doesn't help, um, which is a real shame. Uh, but what I'm going to do is discard this. I'm going to put all my things in one basket. So, it's going to be Strength Die, or Melee Die, sorry. So that's a D8 plus... Sorry, a D6 plus a D8. And I'm going to discard my Flaming Mace in order to add another d4 with the fire trait. So there you go, another d4. So it's all that, plus the one from that, plus the four from my skills. So all this, plus five, gotta get 15. Okay, here we go. Oh shit, that's quite low. 11 plus five is 16. I have beaten Aurelium. Agur, she's dead. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, I was worried there, because if I'd lost my mace... Yeah, it's a good thing I had that, wasn't it? Oh, no, it wasn't. I rolled a one on that. Um, but yeah, great. She's dead. She's dead. This place is permanently closed. I may shuffle an item from my discard pile into my deck. Doesn't matter, because I've finished the scenario. Oh, yeah, bitches. This is great. So, look what I get to do. Do, 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 do. I don't know this. Well, I do know it, clearly. There you go. I've succeeded. I've defeated it. And what does that mean? So I've I've squashed all the trouble that's in Sandpoint, because obviously, you know, the goblins had stirred up trouble and revealed weird, strange ruins and the wrathful sin spawns within. Um, and I've destroyed them and saved Sandpoint yet again. But obviously, Nualia is still on top of Thistle, Thistle Top, so I'm going to have to go up there at some point. Um, right. Okay, so reward. Each character gains a power feat. That's very exciting because power is down here, as you can see. Um, I can, I can either increase my hand size or I can become proficient with another we with weapons, which would be very useful. Um, although I do have two very good weapons, but there are some I will show you that say if you're proficient with weapons, there you go. If you aren't proficient with weapons, the difficulty of this check is increased by four. So there are some good weapons that let me roll loads of different dice and things, and they're quite good, maybe better than my mace, uh, than my maces. But I don't think that's so important at the moment. I think at the moment what I want is a bigger hand size. It means you're more likely to, uh, sort of more likely to die because you get through your cards more quickly. So I think I'm going to go for that, for my power feat. Oh, what is this? Harbour in Hamburg. Magnus Ringblom. Okay, uh, I could add a plus one to my D8 beating undead things, but that's so underpowered. I'm just going to do this. 
Uh, hand size six. That is extremely exciting. Let me just copy and paste that. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? You wouldn't have thought that just ticking a box would be so um, satisfying. But it is. I love it. Hang on. This looks weird. It's a different size font. Oh, well, fuck it. Um, and that's it. I come back home. Happy Kyra. Now, this is where you can all turn off if you like, but some of you might like to see what I decided to do in terms of keeping cards and things. So, let's do it. It's going to take forever. That shouldn't dissuade you, though. It's great. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do, do, do. How do I know all these tracks? I've never heard this before. Harbour in Hamburg. I mean, seriously. Okay, what have I got then? I've got two weapons I can take. I know what one of them is going to be. Where are you? Flaming Mace, you sexy beast. Uh, but then there's also Mace, which I think is the other best one. Um, the daggers are all dexterity and stuff, so I'm not going to have any of these. Um, or the short bow. So that's weapons done. Uh, spells, three. I did get an extra spell, didn't I? But that's arcane armor, so that's... Yeah, if you do not have the arcane skill, banish this card. Well, I don't need that. Um, so I will keep these three very useful spells that have done me well. Group those together and whack them on top. Two armor. Uh, same thing, I haven't got any new armors, so I'll just keep the two that I have. I love the magic half plate as well. Uh, one item. Uh, it's still... I don't think anything's ever going to beat the Holy Candle. Because um, that's so useful. Yeah. So that means I don't take that. And I don't take that either. Because they suck. Um, allies. Um, I still think the Acolyte's my best option. I don't do ranged attacks. And I never have to do survival checks. So Acolyte, because she's most helpful. Um, then blessings, right, well, as usual, I'll take one of each of the unique ones, one, two, three, and then add one, two, three of the blessings of gods to fill them up. Group them, whack them on top of there, and that's 15 cards, that's my deck, that's my health, that is me. Good. I'll clean everything up and set up for the next, um, the next what's it, the next, the next scenario, which will be me, I think, approaching Thistletop, which will be very, very exciting. So anyway, I remember that one being difficult. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. That's another hour of Tabletop slash Pathfinder, or two hours if you include the failed attempt at this scenario, but hope you're still enjoying them. See you next time. Bye. Let's drop this a sec. How do I drop it? Uh, that's that button. Smash.